The classic novice hurdles, the grade two. Two mile four furlong up the top is golden key for David Robinson and it's the six to one pre-race favourite. So juicy odds there for a favourite. Hilltop Fort, Parentis, Argyle Fort, Bays of Joffa, Del Lady, Delecto, Lano Teta, Noble Queen, the fourth phase, and without limitations for Joshua Sutherland, number 11, and racing. And to the first of 10. A bit of a strange jump at the tail there by Bays of Joffa. Down to the second. And Argyle Fort is our leader from the stable mates Delecto and Parentis. Down on the fence is Del Lady and Noble Queen out wider with, and uh, with Hilltop Fort. Widest runner out there is Bays of Joffa. Lena Tetter, the fourth phase and without limitation. So stable mates bookmark or bookend the field. Quite a few, there's only three trainers here that don't have double entries. And it's Argyle for clear and easy leader for now. Jumps the third. Parentis in second. Golden Key. Third with Del Lady, wider on the track as Noble Queen. Paul Rhodes had a bit of a purple patch at the moment. In behind them is Hilltop Fort and Delecto. We've got the fourth phase, Lano Teta Bays of Joffre and without limitations. So take the fourth of ten. And Argyle Fort leads three or so lengths. Three to four to Parentis. Noble Queen, Del Lady. Also up there, Golden Key, the favourite, pre-race. I bunched up hit this pack behind the leader. And nine furlongs left to run. Now come to the sixth. And still our goal for from Hilltop Fort. Then without limitations and the fourth phase. Del Lady on the fence. Wider we got Delecto. Uh, Lano Tetter has the rails from uh, Golden Key. Then we got Noble Queen, Bays of Joffa and Parentis. <coughs> Over the seventh flight. Seems like anyone can win from here. Nothing's really standing out. Maybe Parenta struggling a little at the tail, but it's Argyle Fort from without limitations. Del Lady stalking them. Uh, Lano Teta is close for the stable. Also up there is the fourth phase moving forward with Delecto. Up and over the eighth they go. And it's Argyle Fort still getting pumped along here from Lano Teta. And then we got, as they come to the ninth and the second last, and running down to two and a half furlongs left to go. <coughs> and they round the bend here to straighten up, and it's Argyle Fort. Almost too clear of the fourth phase. Lana Teta without limitations. Golden Key. Nothing else can win from here. So they come to the last. Fairly fast jump from Lana Teta. Moves it um, closer to the leaders. It's the fourth phase. And Argyle Fort. 
The fourth phase gets on terms and pokes the neck in front in a slowly drawing away. And the fourth phase wins from Argyle Fort without limitations third. Lana Tedder, I believe, ran fourth. <coughs> Property class prevailed here. And the fourth phase gets there for Josh. Congratulations. Argyle Fort is second for Jim Murray. Third was Josh's without limitations. Fourth was Leno Tedder for Darren Thompson. And the Golden Key ran well for David Robinson to pick up fifth.